data transformation in SPSS. There are three options or ways or method to transform data in SPSS. And data transformation can be applied when you do have a not normal distributed data and you want to convert this data to normally distributed, thus to be able to use a parametric statistical test in SPSS. So there are three options. The first one is locked and transformation. The second one is square root transformation. And the third one is reciprocal transformation. For log 10 transformation, if you do have a positive skewed data and this positive skewed data have log 10 positive number, then you use the log 10x for it. If it have a zero number in it, then you use the equation log 10x plus one. If you do have a negative number, then you add one or any number that makes the negative numbers in the data positive using the formula log x plus one or two or three and so on. For negatively skewed data to do a log transformation, you need to do first data reflection and then perform the log 10 transformation. And the equation for the log 10 on the reflected data is to find the maximum value in your data, add to it one, then subtract each individual value of your data. And that's for log 10. And the second options that can be used for transforming data is the square root transformation. Again, either for positively skewed data or negatively skewed data, a square root can be used. And whichever condition you have, whether you have a zero in your data, positive number, or a negative numbers in your positively skewed data, there are certain formula to follow and use to, to transform use a, you transform these positively skewed data using the square root transformation. For negatively skewed data, to do a square root, first of all, you need to do data reflection, then the square root. And finally, reciprocal transformation is one of the options available to transform data. And this can be used for positively skewed data or negatively skewed data. Positive skewed data whether it has a positive number in it or zero number in it or it has a negative numbers in it or it is this data are negatively skewed then you can do data the data reflection has to be done first and then followed by the reciprocal transformation or inverse transformation data transformation in spss Data can be transformed in SPSS to try to transform the data from being not normally distributed into normal distribution. As parametric test requires the data to be tested to be normally distributed. And one way or one option that is available in SPSS for data transformation is to use the log 10 transformation and log 10 transformation can be used to transform positively skewed data and negatively skewed data for positive skewed data the formula we use log 10 and if the numbers are in this positively skewed data are positive then you use the log 10x formula if your data are positively skewed, however, it have or they have on it a zero value, then the equation to use is to do log 10 x plus 1, as there is no log 10 for zero. If your data have a negative numbers, and they are positively skewed, but they have a negative number, then you need to add one or any number that makes the negative number in the data positive. For example, log 10, x plus one or x plus two or x plus three and so on and so on. Whatever, whichever makes the value of the number change, shift the value from minus into positive. 
So I'm going to show you how to do all these translog tran log 10 transformation for positively skewed data with the positive value, zero value, and negative numbers. And then also I'm going to show you how to also do log 10 transformation in negative skewed data of negative skewed data. It's a little bit different from positively skewed data. If you have a negatively skewed data and you want to do a log 10 transformation, you have to do two steps. The first step is to do data reflection. So to reflect your data. And to do data reflection is to find the maximum value in your data, add it to it, number one, and then subtract that from every score in your data. It can be do that uh, the, the first step can be done separately, reflection and then log 10, followed by log 10 of the reflected data or the, um, the log 10 of negative skewed data can be done in one step by using the formula given here below, log 10 x maximum plus one minus x. How to transform your data in SPSS using the log 10. And how to transform positively skewed data, data that has zero values in it, and data with negative numbers. I have a data, and uh, we want to explore the distribution of this data, and uh, to find whether it is normally distributed or not. It is essential step, and it is in fact the first step for statistical analysis of a data is to explore the distribution of this of the data whether it is normally distributed or not if it is normally distributed then parametric test will be used for the analysis if it is not normally distributed two options available either to transform the data so they become normally distributed through through three different function one of them transform the data through the log term or use an unparametric test for analyzing the data. So here in this part, we'll show you how to explore your data, how to transform non-normal uh, distributed data, and uh, how to deal with data that have zero in it and data that are have also negative values in it. So the first step here, I have a column called PS, which means positively skewed. I have already checked the distribution of the data and it was uh, positively skewed. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, click on analyze, go for descriptive, click on explore, reset this. I'm going to move the positive skewed into the dependent list box. And I'm going to take statistic, keep it as it is. If I click on plots, I'm going to untick stem, take the histogram, and then tick on normality plot with tests. And options, I'm not going to do any changes. So if I hit the button for OK, SPSS will generate a table. And in this table, this data shows that these data are positively skewed, 0.65 and the standard error is 0.1 and here also SPSS has calculated the uh, test using Kolomogorov, Semenorov and Shavir-Wilk Shavir test uh, for normality of the distribution of the data and as shown here the data are not normally distributed the histogram also confirmed that these data are slightly skewed to the right so it's positively skewed and uh, so the next phase is uh, again with this data it is not possible to move ahead and do uh, a parametric we need to transform the data and we will transform the data using the log 10. to do that you click on transform then click the compute variable we said this so the spss will generate a new column it has a variable in it and that variable is based in computation. So we're going to name that column with log 10 
positively skewed. Apparently, these data are positively skewed. So, you know to see that there is a function group called arithmetics. Arithmetics. Click on log tan, then move the log tan into the numeric expression box. And we need to do a log tan for these positive skewed data, which between here. And then if you hit the bottom for OK, what happens here is that SPSS has calculated the log tan for this PSF, positively skewed data. Whether these data has been transformed or not, we will, I will go and show you how to do that. Analyze, click again on descriptive statistics, click on explore, then move the log 10 positively skewed into the dependent list box. Click OK. And again, I will go straight forward for the test of normality. It shows here that once I, we have transformed the data using log 10, the data become normally, tend to become more normally distributed as can be seen here by the two tests, Shabiru, Welk, and Kolomokorov, Simonov. So the data become normally distributed post transformation with log 10. If we look at the histogram, See here, it is positively skewed. That's before transformation with log 10. And this is the shape after transformation with log 10. So these data, this transformation of data has corrected the non-normal distribution and become, become normally distributed. Thus, a uh, parametric test can be used. Now, what do we do if you have a zero in your data or if you have a negative value in your data? Again, it's the same concept. Uh, and these data are also positively skewed. Uh, as you can see here in this column, we have a zero value here at case number 10. And uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to transform this data using log ten, log uh, log uh, log ten, but again to avoid this zero because there is no uh, calculation for log ten, we have to transform these data in a certain way. So we click in transform, compute variable. Again, as we can see here, I'm going to generate a new variable and call it log ten zero the for for a column that has zero value in it or data has the zero value in it and i'm going to again do log move the log to here and i'm going to use the data which has zero value in it and uh, so the log 10 for zero will not be calculated so I had to add number one to it so that the data, so zero become one, so log 10 can be calculated. So if I hit the button for OK, again, so if I have a positively skewed data that has negative values in it, or negative numbers like minus 3.6 or minus one, as we can see here in case number five and case number and if I want to transform this data, we need first of all to change this minus into positive. And the way to change minus to positive, so to do log 10 in it, is to add to the column uh, uh, a positive number. And in this case, I'm going to add, since it's minus 3, 6, I'm going to add number 5 to every case on this column. The way to do that is to go through transform, compute variable, reset this, and then SPSS will generate a variable. We'll call it, call it log 10 negative number. I'm going to select the log 10, and I'm going to move the negative value into the log 10. Add to 
this column five number five so what does this equation says do the log 10 for the column level negative add it to it to each cell in it value five if you click ok again SBC is generated a column has a variable in it and the negative data has been transformed and the data has been transformed um, using the log 10 so these are the three the way to do log 10 for skewed data that has no zero or minus value in it data that has zero value in it and data that has minus value in it There are several ways to transform data that are not normally distributed in SPSS. There are three available options to transform data from non-normal distribution to normal distribution. The first option, option is log 10, square root, and reciprocal transformation. For negatively skewed data, to perform log 10 transformation, it is a prerequisite to do data reflection. So data reflection is the first step in data transformation. Then once data reflection is performed, log 10 transformation can be done on the reflected negative skewed data. Here in this data view, I have a column labeled NS, which stands for negatively skewed data i have already checked the distribution of this data using the explore function in spss and found they are negatively skewed and i will show you shortly how to do that and since these data are negatively skewed and we need to use log 10 transformation the first step in doing log term transformation of negatively skewed data is to do a reflection so a reflection is a prerequisite and it is important and essential step superseding transformation once reflection on this data is performed then it is permittable to do log term transformation so the first step is to look at the data and explore them and the way to do that click on analyze descriptive data explore you see this and i'm going to move the data label then is to the dependent list and i'm going to untick click on plots and tick stem take the histogram take normality plot with this so i'm going to look at the distribution of the data that i have using the histogram, the QQ plot, and the statistical test for normality. Two tests. If I click on continue and then click on OK, tables are generated in this output. And the one which is in the middle show labeled as descriptive, you can see that these data are skewed and it is negatively skewed, minus 0.65. And if we look at the table below, two tests being used, KS test and Shapiro work test for testing normality. And the, those two test tests shows that these data are not normally distributed. So there is a skewness in this data and it is negatively skewed. If we look at the histogram, we can see here that the data are clustering to the right and the tail point toward or the data point toward the negative value so it is negatively skewed and if we look at the qq plot here we can see the data are clustering above the diagonal line so these data are now we establish that the this data are not normally distributed and it is negatively skewed 
And if we want to proceed to do log 10, we have to do an essential prerequisite step called data reflection. And the way to do data reflection is first to determine the maximum value in the data set. And from this table, we can see that the maximum value is 6.12. We're going to use this shortly value. So the way to do data reflection is to click on transform, compute variable, reset this. And here I'm going to label this target variable to generate a new variable. We will call it data reflection. And to do data reflection is to use the maximum value, which is 6.1. One, two, we're going to add number one to it, and we're going to subtract the value for each score in each in the in, in, in the NS column or variable. So in this formula says that the maximum value is 6.12. We add to it one and then subtract each value in the data we have or each score in the data. So if we click on OK, a new column is generated and labeled data reflection. And if we click on analyze again to examine the distribution of this data, and we click on descriptive statistic, explore, and then move the NS to the dependent list, the data reflection to the dependent list, and we are not going to do any changes here. I think I'm going to untick the stem, tick the histogram, and tick the normality plot with this. Continue. Okay. Again, descriptive table is generated. One is labeled need data in S, negatively skewed, and the one with data reflection. Data reflection has really, the data was negatively skewed. When you do a data reflection, it becomes positively skewed, point, minus 0. 0.65 to positive 0. 0.65. And testing, looking at the histogram, this is for the neat original data. And this is for the reflected data. And as you can see here, it has been reflected. And if we look again at the table, you can see here that data is becoming positively skewed. So now we finish doing the first step in data reflection for data transformation. And if we move to the log, 10 transformation so the red the data now are ready to perform log 10 transformation the way to do log 10 transformation is click and transform again compute variable reset this and we're going to call it log 10 and to do log 10 is to click on the function group arithmetics select the log 10 move it to the numeric expression and then we're going to do log 10 or not on the neat data on the reflected data. And if I click the bottom for OK, the SPSS will generate a column for log 10 of the reflected data. And I'm going to explore and look at the data for the three, the neat data, the reflected data and the log 10. If we move the log 10 to the dependent list, keep everything setting the same, and we click on OK. A new table is generated for all the three. Again, as we can see here, if we scroll down to log 10, we can see that um, the skewness doing log 10 has reduced the skewness from 0.65 to minus minus 0 0.65 to minus 0 0.14 so this is really a dramatic reduction in the skewness and again if we look at the test for normality using ks 
Tests, KS Test and Shavir Work Test, you can see that Block 10 has transformed the data and the data become really normally distributed from the value of 0.2 and 0.6 for both tests. So Log 10 has really managed to rescue and transform the data from being negatively skewed into nearly normally distributed. So if we look at the histogram, we can see that that's the histogram for uh, negatively skewed data and processed data. <coughs> histogram for the reflected data and the histogram for the log 10 or the log 10 of the reflected negatively skewed data is indicated that it's normally distributed. And if you look at the QQ plot, you can see that all the dots or circles are aligned perfectly onto nearly perfectly on the diagonal, the diagonal line. And if you look at bar box plot, it is really normally distributed. So we've done log 10 transformation on, on negatively skewed data by doing first data reflection and then second log 10. We could do also a step that is combining both data reflection and log in one step. The way to do that is to click on compute variable, reset this, and I'm going to call it again log 10 direct so to do log 10 direct is to click on arithmetics log 10 and move the log 10 here since i'm going to do log 10 on the neat data and i'm going to do both data reflection and log 10 simultaneously so i'm going to use the neat data so i'm going to do again repeat that is to do reflection 6.12 add to it 1 subtract from it the value for each score in the data labeled negatively scored so here now we have an equation that's saying do a log 10 for a data that will that that will be reflected. So reflection will be done simultaneously, log 10 will be done. So if I click on OK, again, you can see here that the log 10 direct has generated, a column has been generated for log 10 direct, and the value in it is similar to the way that you've done it. So you have done it by two steps or one step. So there are two, two, two step log 10 or one step so there are two ways to do the log 10 of negatively skewed data to do first either to do the data reflection first in a column and then do log 10 on this data or just combine them in one column and do data reflection and log 10 in one column this is the way to do log 10 transformation of negatively skewed data data transformation in SPSS using square root for either a positively skewed data or negatively skewed data. If you have a data that are not normally distributed, whether it's positively skewed or negatively skewed, square root transformation is one of the options available to try to attempt to, start to transform the data from being not normal to normal. So square root can be used to try to revert data, uh, transform them to become normally distributed, whether these data are positively skewed or negatively skewed. So positively skewed data can be transformed using a square root. If these data have a positive number, then you use the equation square root x. If the data have a zero value in the scores, then the equation can be used as following square root x plus 
one. So you add number one to the each individual score within your data and then take the square root for it. If you have a data that have some negative numbers in it or few negative numbers in it, add one or any number that makes the negative numbers in the data positive by using adding one or two or three or four and so on, whichever number that can make this negative number positive. If you have, however, if you have a negative skewed data, then the situation is a little bit different. You have to do a prerequisite step before you do a square root transformation. And that step is called reflection. So you do reflection first, and then you do the square root transformation. And to do reflection is to find out the maximum value in your data, add it to it number one, and then subtract this from every individual score or value in your data. Then you can proceed to do the square root transformation. So square root transformation for negative skewed data is two steps. The first step is data reflection. The second step is the square root transformation. I will show you how to transform data in SPSS using a square root formula. And this square root can be used to transform data that are positively skewed and data that have negative numbers in them. And transformation of data is one way to overcome outliers in your data or a data that, uh, that are not normally distributed Here we have a data that is positively skewed, uh, as I've already uh, done uh, in checking on the data using Explore in SPSS. I will show you shortly how to do that. I have here a column of a data, and we need to check the distribution of this data before proceeding to any uh, test, uh, statistical test. So the first step in data analysis is to determine whether the data are normally distributed or not. And if it is not normally distributed, there are few options. And one of the option is to transform the data uh, using square roots uh, or other choices. So first of all, to check whether these data are distributed, here I have in this column a PS data that labeled as PS. PS stands for positive skews, skewed data. So to check the distribution of the data, click on Arise, Descriptive Statistics, Explore. I'm going to reset this, and I'm going to move the positive skewed data to the dependent list. And then I'm going to click at the plots icon. I'm going to untick stem, take the histogram, to take the normality plot, with test as I'm going to use this statistical test to determine whether the data are normally distributed or not. Click on continue in the options. We're going to keep the options that it is and uh, no change to it. So we click on OK. SPSS will generate few tables. The one here does have descriptive title. From this data, we can see that the data we have are not normally distributed and there is a degree of skewness and the data are skewed, positively skewed as the statistic error for it is 0.1. Now the next table here, test the normality of distribution of the data using two tests, Kolomogorov, Seminarov and Shaviro Willick. Again, these two tests confirm that this data we have are not normally distributed. If we look at the histogram of these data, we can see that it is skewed to the uh, towards uh, the positive value, so it is positively skewed data. So 
we cannot proceed with this data using parametric test unless we have to do to go for non-parametric test but another way to overcome this is to try to transform this data to see if it is really can revert to normal and the way to do that is to use a square root so i'm going to delete this square root of the data and the way to do that is to click at transform compute variable in this compute variable um, SBSS will generate uh, a new column, a new variable with data in it transformed using the square root. We, I'm going to call it square root positively skewed data. So, and I'm going to look for the square root function here in this box and then in the one below it click on the square root click on move it to the numeric expression and then I'm going to square root the data that has that are positively skewed then I'm hit the button for OK and then SBSS will generate a data as we can see here a column a variable with the square root of the positively skewed data so the next step is to check whether these square root transformed data are normally distributed or not then we click and analyze descriptive statistics then explore and then in this window I'm going to move the square root positively skewed data into the dependent list and click on OK Again, we can see here from this descriptive table that the data that are not transformed, the skewness was 0.65. After transformation with the square root, it is reduced to 0.2. So there is a reduction of skewness. So this data tend to be tend to be more normal after transformation. Again this third table testing of normality using the two tests using the two tests shows that the positively skewed data is not normally distributed however when it square root was performed in all the data uh, the day the distribution of the data become normal as it's seen here in these two tests again this is the data before transformation with square root and this is the data after transformation with square root so in fact transformation has really transformed the data from non-normal to normal which allow uh, parametric tests to be done on this data now what if I have positively skewed data but it has in it a negative value a negative number like this one minus 2.5 and minus 1.3 can I still do a square root uh, transformation yes and the way to do that is to click on transform compute variables reset that and then I'm going to name the target value variable as square root negative and again I'm going to look for the function of square root move the square root function into the numeric expression and then I'm going to square root the data that has posit at are positively skewed and have negative number in it and uh, so there is no square root for negative number um, and the way to overcome this is to add to each one of these data value or number in the column for the negative uh, number which will transfer these two negative value into positive so I'm going to add number probably go for number 
4. So this formula is going to take the square root of this data after adding number 4 to each cell on this variable. If I hit the bottom of, for OK, again, SPSS will generate a variable which has a data in it that has been transformed and the negative values has been transformed into positive and a number four was added to all these uh, cases and then square root we're taking and then when then from that move ahead to the check whether these data are normally distributed or not so in this video i've shown you two how to do square root for positively skewed data and data that have negative values in it. Square root transformation in SPSS. If you have a data that are not normally distributed, i.e. negatively skewed data, and you want to do a transformation on this data using one of the three available methods, square root method. To transform the negatively skewed data, you need to do two steps. The first one is reflecting the data before transformation. The second one, transforming the data using the square root. In this SPSS data view, I have the two columns for data. One is label, labeled PS and the other one is NS. And PS stands for positively skewed and NS stands for negatively skewed data. I had checked this NS data and found that they are negatively skewed. And I will show you shortly how to check the uh, distribution of the data, whether it is normally distributed or not and then how to do transformation on this negatively skewed data using the square root option and how to do data reflection before doing the square root as it is essential to do data reflection on a negatively skewed data then proceed to the square root transformation. So first of all to examine and check your data and the distribution of the data. We'll click on Analyze Descriptive Statistics, then Explore. And I'm going to move the NS data into the dependent list. I'm going to click on the plots and tick stem, tick the histogram, and tick normality plot with test. So I'm going to view the data using a histogram and I'm going to view the data using a normality QQ plot and do a normality test in a statistical test in SPSS. So if you click on continue, then click on OK, an output will be generated that had in it few tables and diagrams. Here in this descriptive table for data labeled NS, if we look at the skewness, we can find that it's negatively or negative 0.65. So that's indicate the data are negatively skewed. And the maximum value is 15.35 and the minimum is 1. So if we proceed to the next table, see here the test for normality using two common tests in SPSS, the Kolomogorov, Semenrov, and Shabir Wallach test shows that the distribution of this data are not normal as it's clearly here indicated. So the data are here are negatively skewed. And if we look at the histogram here, you can see that the data are not uniform bell-shaped distribution. However, it is 
shifted the data shifted to the right and the skewn is toward the negative signs so so this data are negatively skewed as the tail is heading toward the negative values and if you look at the QQ plot you can see that all the data above the diagonal line and also um, so this mainly data indicate this mainly diagrams and tests indicate that there is negative skewness in this data so how are we going to do transformation of this data as it is negatively skewed we have to do two steps using the square root the first step is data reflection the second one is the square root transformation so for data reflection it is a important step and it is a prerequisite for doing transformation specifically for a negatively skewed data so for a negative skewed data you must do the data reflection otherwise otherwise you cannot proceed to do any other further transformation and the way to do reflection is as following if we click on transform and then click on compute I have a window here and I'm going to generate a column called data reflection and to do the data reflection is as a following first of all we need to find out the highest value in the data and the highest value in the data can be really determined using the descriptive table it says the maximum is 15.35 so going to type here 15.35 then I'm going to do to add one number one to it and then I'm going to subtract from these maximum plus one each value of the data in the column labeled ns so here we're going to subtract the maximum value plus one from each individual score in this data and if i click the bottom okay this basis will generate a column called data reflection and if i examine the distribution of this data I'm going to do a click on analyze descriptive explore and I'm going to move the data reflection into the dependent list and then click on ok so this list this will generate two few tables one of them is descriptive in the descriptive we have here the un unreflected data the negatively skewed and the data the reflected data can see here that the skewness in the unreflected is negative and the skewness in the reflected one is positive the maximum value is the same the minimum value is the same the kurtosis are the same so the here again also the distribution of the data still nor not normally distributed for both the negatively skewed and data reflection and if we look at the histogram for data reflection we can see that now this is the data reflection reflected the data become now more positively skewed as the tail is heading toward the positive value so reflection has changed the data from negatively skewed to positively skewed again as we can see from the QQ diagonal line that the data are below that diagonal line so this data has now been reflected and they are ready for the next step so it's essential to do data reflection on negatively skewed data so the next step is to do to try to transform this data from being not normal to normal and i'm going to use the square root formula 
And to do that is to click on transform compute variable, reset this, and I'm going to generate a variable called square root data reflection. And to do that is to do square root of the reflected data, click on the arithmetics in the function group in the box below square root will appear here drag this into the numeric expression box and insert between these the data reflected data so what i'm doing going to do here to ask the software to do square root for every individual value in this data reflected column or variable if you click on ok the SPSS will generate another column doing a square root for this data that's all reflected. So to check the distribution of this square root data, transformed data using square root to the original negatively skewed data, click on Analyze, then Descriptive Statistic, then Explore. And I'm going to move the data reflected that has been square rooted into the dependent list box and I click on and then I'm going to click on OK. SPSS now will generate a descriptive data that contain all the three da data, negatively skewed original data, reflected data and square root data reflection, transformed data using the square root on the reflected data. Again, if we look here at the square root, we can see the skewness now is reduced from 0.6 to 0.1. That is a really a huge reduction in the skewness. Thus indicate that this data now being probably being transformed to become more normal. So if we look at this test of normality, we can see that the negatively skewed data are not, are not normal. Or not normally distributed the reflection is not normally distributed however when you square root the reflected data the data become normally distributed as it is shown here by these two tests if we look at the diagram for the square root data reflection we can see that these data are fairly now normally distributed. So transformation has transformed the data from not normal distributed to normal distributed. Again, if you look at the QQ plot, you can see all most of the line, most of the data scores are aligned on the diagonal line. And the box plots indicate that there is normality of the data. So using the square root transformation of negatively skewed data has transformed the data from being not normal into normal this is one of the way to do square root transformation first step is to do data reflection then the second step to do the square root transformation However, you can conquer, there is another method to combine both in one calculation. And to do, to do that is to click on transform, compute variable, and then reset. And I'm going to call this square root two. Square root two direct. The way to do that is first of all to click on function arithmetic square root drag the square root into this empty numeric expression and then if I want to do square root on the negatively skewed data again I have to do reflection so I'm going to do skew and reflection in one formula 
So uh, to do square root and reflection, to do the reflection, we've already determined that the highest, as we can see here, the highest value for the for the maximum value is 15.35. So we're going to type here 15.35. And then we're going to add one to it. And then we're going to subtract that from the raw negatively skewed data, the original data. So in this equation, what I'm going to ask the software to do, to do a square root for a data that, and to do a square root following doing a data reflection and the way to do that data reflection is to take the maximum value add to it one and then minus it from each score in the data so this is the way to do direct square root transformation and negatively skewed data if you click on ok this basis will generate again a column called square root direct and you can see here compared to the square root the data reflection it is the same if i want to double check it i'm going to do explore and then i will add the direct here square root direct and move it to here and then click on ok and if i look at the now i have a table should have all the four different data not skewed data minus data reflection square root and then square root direct again if you look at the significance of this test we can see that the square root direct reflection or square root two step reflection and then square root are really has been transformed into become normally distributed so there are two different way to do where root transfer skewed data. The first one is to do a reflection, then followed up by square root. Or the other one is a direct one in which you do reflection and square root simultaneously. This is the way to do data transformation in negatively skewed data. Data transformation in SPSS. <clears throat> Reciprocal or inverse transformation in SPSS is one of the options that can be done to attempt to transform data that are not normally distributed, whether it is positively skewed or negatively skewed, and try to transform this data to become normally distributed i.e. to try to revert the data to see if they become normally distributed and thus will allow using the parametric test in SPSS as in statistical tests that are parametric require data requires data that are normally distributed and if the data are not normally distributed there are different way to handle the distribution try to transform the data using one of the options which is reciprocal transformation so if we have a positively skewed data the way to do reciprocal transformation and this data have a positive number we use one divided on the value for each score in the data data that has zero in it can use the equation one divided by x plus one data that have negatively negative numbers in it add one or any at number one or any number that makes a negative number in the data positive use the equation one divided by x plus one or two or three and so on that's for positively skewed data for negatively skewed data it's two steps required to do reciprocal transformation the first step is called data reflection as you need to do this step for negatively skewed data. And the reciprocal transformation formula is one divided by the maximum 
value or the highest value in the data add it to it number one and then use this addition to subtract it from each individual value within the data so we're going to show you how to do the support transformation for positively skewed data and negatively skewed data another way of transforming data in a space is data that are not normally distributed or data that has an outliers in it or data that are positively skewed is to use a reciprocal transformation hoping that this reciprocal transformation will revert the data from being non-normal to a normal which will permit using parametric tests in SPSS here I have a set of data in a column labeled PS and I'm going to explore this data and uh, to de and determine whether it is normally distributed or not or there is skewness on it or not and if there is if it is not normally distributed then we will try to use reciprocal transformation to try to correct the, these data and see if it is really can revert to normal distribution the first step to do is to check whether these data are normally distributed and I'm going to click on analyze descriptive then click in on explore reset this and I'm going to move the data title titled PS into the dependent list I'm going to untick stem take the histogram and take normality plot with test as I will use the statistical test in SPSS to work out for me whether the data are normally distributed or not. If I click on continue, think look in OK, SPSS generated a few tables. And if we look at the descriptive table, again, this data shows that there is skewness in the data, 0.99, nearly 1. And the standard error is 0.2 and uh, the software has used two tests Kolomogorov Sinrov and Shabiro Walik test to determine whether these data are normally distributed or not and the test shows that they are not normal histogram again shows that these data are skewed to the right so it's positively skewed now, how can I correct these data? So I'm going to use one of the options that is available to transform the data. We have three options, one of them to use the log 10, another one to use square root, and a third one is to use reciprocal. And to do reciprocal transformation, click on transform, compute variable, reset this, and I'm going to generate again, I'm going to generate a column where the data uh, on the PS column uh, will be computed. And I'm going to call it inverse, inverse data. And the way to do inverse is to click on one then divide this make a division and move the data into this. So we will going to uh, inverse this data. And uh, if we hit the button for OK, again, okay. data has been generated and all these cell content has been <coughs> inversed. And uh, to explore whether these data are normally distributed, Click on Analyze, Descriptive, and then Explore. And I'm going to move Inverse to the dependent list here. So to compare, compare both. And I'm not going to do any changes. If you click the button for OK. So here, SBSS have made a descriptive data for both. The positively skewed data, which has 0.99 value for skewness, when we inverse 
or reciprocal did uh, the reciprocal transformation on the data the skewness has been reduced to 0.05 which means that these data are now normally distributed again if we look at the test of normality we can see that for the positively skewed they are not normally distributed once we transformed these data using reciprocal or inverse the data become normally tend to become more normally distributed if you look at the histogram this is the data before transformation reciprocal transformation and this is the data after reciprocal transformation so using reciprocal transformation in this situation has really converted the data from non-normal to normal distribution and this will allow and permit using parametric test. So this is one of the options available to try to transform the data if it is not normally distributed or if it has an outliers. Uh, Reciprocal transformation is one of the method that can be used in SPSS to transform data that are negatively skewed so when you have a negative skewed data and you want to do a parametric test you can't proceed with parametric test until you try to resolve the distribution of the data as parametric test required that the data are normally distributed and reciprocal transformation one of the options that can be used to attempt to transform non-normal non negative skewed data to normally distributed data in this data view in SPSS on the left hand side I have a data that are labeled NS stands for negatively skewed I had already checked the distribution of the data and found this data to be negatively skewed so it is not normally distributed and shortly I'm going to show you how to do exploration exploration of the data and find whether the data are normally distributed or not so the way to do that is to click on analyze descriptive Click on explore. I'm going to reset this. I'm going to move the data labeled NS into the dependent list. I'm going to click on the plots and tick the stem, tick the histogram as I'm going to view the data in a histogram. And also, I'm going to look at normality plots with tests. So using statistically tests to determine the normality, normality distribution of the data. Click on continue, then click on OK. An output will be generated with tables. The one in the middle, labeled descriptive, showed that there is a skewness in this data. And the skewness is minus 0.73. And the standard error is 0.23 so these data are negatively skewed and looking at the table below again test of normality using these two common tests showed that the data are not normally distributed so this descriptive analysis established that the data we have are negatively skewed and the distribution are not normal and uh, to proceed with this data for statistical analysis if the plan to use a parametric test then transformation of the data is essential to try to transform the data from being not normal to normally distributed and attempt to divert the data from not normal distribution to normal distribution so there are few options for transforming the data. 
so that so so it can be used for parametric test and those options are to use either log 10 transformation square root transformation and or reciprocal transformation for negatively skewed data to do a reciprocal transformation you have to do first a prerequisite step which is called data reflection the data has to be reflected prior to do reciprocal transformation and the way to do data reflection is to click on transform click on compute variable and then I'm going to label the target variable as reflection and I'm going to use a formula here in the numeric expression for data reflection and to do data reflection first of all we need to find the maximum value in the data so here from this table descriptive the maximum value for the data is 1.26 so if we type 1.26 i'm going to add 1 to it then going to subtract this from every individual scores within this data so the to do reflection you get you find the maximum value add to it one then subst subtract value for each individual scores in the data if i click on the okay icon i get a column in the data view this column is generated and labeled as reflection. If we examine and explore the distribution of this reflected data, we can see here that reflection has changed the data to become skewness to positive 0.732. So now we've done the reflection as a first step. To do reciprocal transformation is as following click on transform click on compute variable reset this and then we call it i'm going to call the target variable as in ver inversion and in the numeric expression we're going to type one divided by the reflected data so to do reciprocal transformation one divided by the reflected data click on the ok data view spaces has generated a column labeled inversion so data has been transformed and to examine the distribution of this data I'm going to click on explore and then move the column generated called inversion into the dependent list and click on OK. I'm going to compare the data before transformation. The skewness was minus 0.73. Post transformation using reciprocal transformation, the skewness is reduced to minus 0.42 and looking at normality test generated by SPSS and calculated by the software shows here the reciprocal transformation has really transformed the data from being negatively skewed to normally distributed and thus will permit using parametric tests just to mention the point here and instead of doing reciprocal transformation in two steps, reflection, and then doing the inversion, it is possible to combine both in one step. 
And the way to do that is to click on transform, compute variable, and then I'm going to call that reciprocal direct is to use the numeric expression one divided by the maximum value which is 1.26 1.26 adding one to it subtracting the value in the neat and change data from negatively data so here in this i'm going to do an in reciprocal transformation and data reflection simultaneously on the negatively skewed data and if i click the button or the icon for ok a column will be generated Again, as we can see, the value for reciprocal direct using one combined step and two separate steps, we can see that the value for inversion is the same. So there are, this is how to do reciprocal transformation in SPSS for a data that are negatively skewed.